Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today we're making Taiwanese popcorn chicken. My kids have been begging me to make this dish for them because we haven't been back to Taiwan and they really miss the true authentic Taiwanese street food flavor. Plus, who doesn't like some bite-sized fried chicken, right? Actually, everyone has their own version of the Taiwanese popcorn chicken recipes, but why do I make mine? Because one of the most important reasons why I make these cooking videos is because I want to pass down my precious recipes and also my flavor to my kids and hopefully one day to my grandkids. Plus, I do have a little pebble on how to make these popcorn chickens refreshing but not compromising the flavor. Before we get started, would you like, share and subscribe and turn on the little bell for notifications? All right, let's get started. So here are the ingredients for today. We have some chicken bouillon powder. You can get the chicken bouillon cube in the supermarket and then you just pound it up into the powder form. Garlic powder. Sichuan pepper powder, five spice powder, some sugar, ground white pepper, chili flakes, and this is my secret ingredient, the lime juice. You won't be able to taste it at all, but it just freshens it up. Soybean paste, soy sauce, Shaoxing rice wine, and some potato starch, chicken of course, garlic, egg, and Thai basil. This is actually a very straightforward recipe. You just cut up your chicken, marinate it, and then bread it with the potato starch and then fry it. But we're gonna use the twice fried method today so we can get it super crispy. Now let's cut up our chicken first. We're just cutting them into bite size. And I use chicken thigh because I like dark meat. To me, they're more tender and juicy. It's harder to fail. If you know me, you know that I really care about my chicken and my eggs. So I get my chickens from Krau Cow, where they have those heirloom chicken that's pasture raised. So it's delicious and healthy. I'll include the links in the description box so you can also check it out. All right, the chicken is cut. We just need to make our marinade now. First, we're gonna do the garlic powder, chicken bouillon powder, five spice powder, ground white pepper, citron pepper powder, the chili flakes. Ground chili flakes is optional and how much you put in, it really depends on how spicy you want it to be. For me, I just need a little bit because this is also gonna be kids friendly. Sugar, and then a little bit of Shaoxing rice wine. Some soy sauce, soybean paste, some lime juice, lots of minced garlic. Once you mix everything up, you wanna try it. Make sure, mm, so good. Make sure this is the flavor you want and you want it to be a little extra saltier because this is a marinade. You want to go in and marinate the chicken. So if it's not salty enough, the end result wouldn't be as flavorful. So remember, just a little saltier than you expected, okay? Now, since it's so good, we're gonna put it in. And then we're gonna need to add in an egg. Give it a good mix. We need to marinate this chicken for at least 30 minutes or you can keep it in the fridge for overnight. And meanwhile, we're gonna take care of our Thai basil. I tell you, without fried Thai basil, it's not Taiwanese popcorn chicken. The tip about the Thai basil, you wanna wash it ahead of time so it's got time to dry. Because otherwise, when you deep fry it, it's gonna splash. Now it's been marinated for 30 minutes. We're gonna start breading it with some potato starch. And because we're only using potato starch, so it could be gluten-free if you use gluten-free soy sauce. So another tip for this dish to be successful is that after you bread it, you wanna let it sit for at least 10 minutes. You wanna make sure that you see the moisture comes through the breading. That way the crispy breading won't separate from the chicken. Now let's bread our chicken. Now I already have some potato starch on the plate and then we're gonna put the chicken in. And then we're gonna put more starch on top and just give it a good stir to make sure it's breaded every side of the chicken. Mm. 
Remember we're doing the twice fried method? So the first fry, we're just trying to cook the chicken through. We don't need the oil to be super high temperature, which is about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna bring the oil temperature up to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna put the chicken back in and we're gonna get it golden brown and crispy. Now we're putting in the oil. Turn off the heat. As you can see, these breadings have become brownish. That means the moisture has come through, so they're ready to fry. Now it's 325 degrees, so we're just gonna put the chicken in. You wanna make sure you separate them so they're not sticking together. With medium heat, you wanna fry it for about a minute and then flip. After you flip them, fry for another two minutes or so. Take it out. Clean the crumbs out of the oil, turn the heat up to high, and bring the oil temperature to 375 degree. And this time you're gonna put the chicken back in for a short period of time just to get it crunchy and golden brown. Within a few seconds, they're super golden brown and crunchy. You can take them out. Look at them, so beautiful. And then we're gonna put in our Thai basil and you wanna make sure you have a lid on hand to protect you from the splash. When you hear less splash, you can open the lid, move it around for about a minute. And then we're gonna sprinkle some of the pepper salt on the chicken and the basil. Then we're done. Kids, yes, Suji is ready. What's Come this? On. This is Yensuji popcorn chicken. How do you eat this then? With chopsticks. That's not how you eat it. How eat do you it eat with it? With a bag with bamboo sticks. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. So see, this is what I prepared for you. Yeah. Come on. Don't you just miss it? We always walk on the street and then just kind of poke it. Everybody's like trying to poke and eat. And mm. stop in my mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so crunchy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And how is it? Mm, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. And then that lime juice really make a difference, okay? It's still super flavorful, but a lot of the time, when you eat a bag of popcorn chicken, sometimes it gets greasy and you feel like it's too heavy. But this, the lime juice, makes it somehow refreshing, but still super delicious. Mm. Oh, last piece. Mm, this is so good. You have to try it at home. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yep, what they said. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.